Hello, this is Amy with Mama Me Scrapping and I am here with a sped up layout that I did this morning actually. Um, I was very surprised overall with how quickly this uh, layout came together. It took less than a half an hour. So I am using Paige Evans Horizon Collection um, and I am going to use some of the Vicky Booten iridescent um, glaze. To, with the the star stencil, I think it's called Falling Stars from the Crafters Workshop. <clears throat> Excuse me. And <laughs> found a little hair in the uh, in the glaze, so I'm assuming that was for my dog. I had to pull it out there. So I'm very careful about trying to fit all of these stars together. And what I didn't realize at the time, I didn't have a clear picture in my head yet of what I wanted to do. So, um, a lot of this ends up getting covered up. <laughs> I try to fit some more in here, and it's, I'm not quite happy. You can see a definite line as to where the, um, where the stars aren't. And I try to help that later on by, uh, adding in some Nouveau drops. I'm going to go off and clean the stencils. And I was only gone for a couple minutes, um, but apparently that was long enough to let some of that glaze really dry. I'm using some more of this dark blue paper from Horizon. And these photos I've had trouble scrapbooking because they are definitely very blue tinted, and I don't know why. I'm writing on a post-it note that the photos were developed September of 2011. That will give me an idea of where to look for uh, the actual date to stamp on the bottom corner at some point. But, um, so I decided looking through the pictures today that I would just embrace the blueness, which is why I chose a lot of these uh, blue periwinkle colors, um, for this layout and mixing in the pink and the orange just felt right with the bright colors then. So this was our end of year festival for school. And this was before she started at my school, but she always came and she always had such a great time with any of the inflatables. I'm watching videos while I'm filming, which is what I was just doing there with the mouse. Decided to go ahead and ink in um, black soot, which is what I tend to ink with. I ink everything but the short flat side of this banner strip. I've used lots of ATG because it's going over the mixed media, but I've started not inking my edges of my layouts around the outside perimeter so that's why I don't ink that edge. I'm going to go ahead and make a fishtail banner here as well. And I do that by measuring the length, of, the width of the paper and then marking the midpoint with my pencil and then with that midpoint I go up and however long I feel on that pink one there I did an inch I think on the floral one I did a, an inch and a half. So whatever I feel would look good and then I just cut from corner to pencil point. I'm going to po put the uh, center, or the smaller photo I trimmed because there's a lot of yellow at the bottom I didn't need, but I'm going to put that smaller photo up on foam to add a little bit of dimension. And now I'm just going to take some of my scraps. Um, some of them are from full 12 by 12 sheets, others are from the 6 by 8 pad. The small plus signs ones there are from the 6 by 8 pad. And there I am peeling up a layer of paper or photos because it wouldn't be a layout of mine if I didn't put peel up something. <laughs> Never satisfied. I can't quite get it right the first time. I'm trying to go through and find things that will work. And I'm looking for things that are in the blues or pinks. And originally I was going to use that vase that was on the left side, but when I was putting it in there, I quite liked the flowers and then the little word phrase that says happy today. I didn't want the white um, of the flower that says love grows wild directly on the white with the plus sign so I cut off a little strip from an off cut from the 6x8 has the rose gold foiling to kind of mat behind it. It doesn't fully fit but it doesn't really matter because I have it layered under the uh, photo. And I was going to use that pretty pink font that I pulled down first and I only had one E in it so I was like, oh, it's not going to work. And then I decided I didn't want to do white, and this pink font was what was next. So I, and it had enough ease. And I'm clicking on videos there, or I'm talking to my husband who came home. That's why I disappeared for a moment. Believe it or not, I'm actually almost done with this layout now. 
want to add in some little stickers, add in some of the dark blue. I really like that chipboard piece. It's, um, has a bicycle on it, but I was like, I don't care. And there I am feeling, peeling it up again. I take this flower sticker, which I assume is for journaling, but I just cut it in half and used it with some layers just to add a bit more movement, I think. And those puffy stickers say, enjoy it all today. And then I'm coming in with my Nouveau drops. I used party pink. Oh, and I can't remember the name of the blue off the top of my head now. Midnight, maybe? But I'm just adding in the pink and the blue all over the layout. And I'm trying to scatter it, especially amongst the stars. And fill in some of that gap so it's a little less noticeable. I think now that it's dry, the gap, it's still there. And if you know what to look for, you're going to see it. But I think to most people, they're not going to notice. So that is my layout. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye.